Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about two unique fan-made Backrooms levels that you all submitted to me on Discord. If you're new here, this is the series where I go over levels created just by Brugly fans from the Discord server, the submissions tab. You all seem to love this series, so thank you for the support. Without further ado, let's get into these levels. First up for the video is level Scopopphobia, or level whatever this symbol is, by Nick from the Discord. It's classified as a class 5 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, and is completely devoid of entities that we know of, but it is extremely dangerous. So the word Scopopphobia is actually the fear of being stared at, or stalked which leads to anxiety and feelings of being uncomfortable. And since that's the level's name, you can only imagine how creepy this is about to be. The level itself looks like an infinite number of small, tight, and cramped wooden rooms with skinny, steep staircases connecting them. And these staircases require you to bend over and hunch down to even walk through them because they're so short. Even if you're already short, you're probably going to have to crouch. The rooms themselves can be anything, like kitchens, bathrooms, living rooms, and even bedrooms. And everything is made out of wood kind of like the interior of a cabin. Every room only has one thing in common, besides being made out of wood, and it's that they all have grayscale paintings of nature on the walls. Living rooms typically have glass doors or windows or both on one wall, but they're actually blacked out. You can't see through them, you can't break them, and you can't open them. They're just in place of where real windows and real doors would be. Some rooms have TVs that are on, but the only thing playing is just straight up static. And a soft static buzz echoes throughout most of the rooms. There's also soft jazz playing throughout the entire level, never getting louder or quieter, so it's unknown where its source is from, but it does add a little creep factor to it. What is known though is that two people cannot meet on this level, even if they're both here at the same time. The only way to communicate with another person is through walkie-talkies, but even then, the audio is distorted and hard to hear. This is kind of like how people in the real world can talk to people in the Upside Down from Stranger Things through radios. Neat stuff. Now it's time to get into the really creepy part of this level. After you get here, you'll start to feel an eerie liminal space vibe that you get with most Backrooms levels, but this will wear off in about 5 minutes. Then after this, that soft jazz will suddenly stop, and you'll start to feel like you're being watched. And after about 15 minutes of feeling this, you'll start to hear knocking on the doors and on the windows and walls. And since you can't see outside, you'll probably be freaking out, because I know I'd be freaking out if I heard that stuff. After 45 minutes, those gray paintings from the walls will actually turn into pictures of you from this level. Like, someone took pictures of you and put them on the wall. That's what it seems like. And you'll start hearing shuffling footsteps echoing through the staircases and rooms behind you. Then eventually, those footsteps will get closer and closer, but when you turn around, you can't see anything until you look in the mirrors on the level. If you do this, in the back corner of the room that you're in, you'll see something standing and staring at you. Can't actually make out what it is, just a shadow of a humanoid with eyes, but that's all you can see, and that is terrifying. But that is not the worst part, because after this, you'll start to feel breathing on the back of your neck, right behind your ears. But whatever you do, do not turn around because you won't be seen again if you do. If you're still alive at this point, then you should be able to escape now. And you definitely need to. Except, no one knows how to escape. But most people said that they happened to escape when they were near a TV. So just go to one of those areas. To enter this level, for whatever reason, you can find an old wooden chair with an eye carved into it and then sit into the chair and you'll be sitting here. But yeah, that level literally gives me the creeps. Like, just imagine being taunted and harassed by whatever this thing is and hearing knocking and running sounds and you can't see anything. I would be terrified. The last level for this video is level negative 974, or Puppy's Domain, from Andro, who is a mod on the Discord server. 
This level is meant to be the polar opposite to the Kitty's House level, and I think it works in that way perfectly. The level is classified as a class 2 difficulty, and is unsafe with a minimal entity count. And there's just one entity. It physically looks like a bunch of hallways that are pretty similar to level 0, in the fact that they're winding and curving and stuff like that, except these halls are grey drywall and dark grey carpet and the lights in the ceiling are not all the same shape, some of them are distorted and waving, and some of them give off less light than the other ones. And this level also has absolutely no sounds or smells to it, which makes it kind of seem like an isolation chamber in a way. Your voice doesn't make any sounds either. There's also no food or water or tools here, and the only thing here besides the hallways and the lights is one single entity called Puppy. This thing is 9 feet tall, or 2.8 meters tall, and it's a humanoid shaped void shadow silhouette with thick arms and legs with no fingers or toes. It has no facial features either, but it can somehow sense where people are without any eyes or ears, so I don't know. Puppy doesn't actually walk, instead it teleports where it wants to go, but it only teleports when you're not looking at it, so if you take your eyes off of them, then it will slowly teleport closer to you. The entity also doesn't physically attack you either, instead it gives you this paralyzing effect just by staring. And if it does stare at you for long enough, then you could become unable to move and then puppy will just teleport away and leave you to rot from starvation. So, that's fun! To enter this level, you can noclip inside the bathroom on Kitty's house's level, or if you somehow make Kitty mad, then Kitty will send you here. And to exit, you can find one of these items on the floor and then fall asleep next to it and you should wake back up in Kitty's house. So yeah, those are two fan-made levels for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for your submissions. Make sure to check below for any links you need and make sure to comment what levels you want me to go over. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, everything you all do for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to go check out Spoogly and Toogly. Bangers going up over there as always and I hope you really enjoy those. I'm really proud of the content going up all across my channels and I hope you are too. Also, this is post-editor Brookly checking in. Just to let you all know that I just uploaded uploaded a backrooms rec rooms video where me and some friends from the discord got on rec room and played a couple backrooms maps including run for your life and a hardcore mode which was really fun definitely going to be uploading that again if you like it so go check that video out it'll be the first link in the description as well as in the pinned comment thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video peace